Atlanta is known as the Hollywood of the South. The Georgia Film Office says the film and television industry spent more than $4 billion across the entire state between July 21 and June of 22. That's a new industry record. With new film incentives coming from Georgia, even more creatives are heading south to make their mark in entertainment. Our correspondent, Laura Chavez, went to Rome, Georgia, to meet one woman who's looking to elevate Latino and Hispanic stories one production at a time. Like I say, homegrown in Rome. About 70 miles northwest of Atlanta, in the small city of Rome, Georgia, big things are happening. When I came in here, I said, this is where I'm going to put Pound Studios. Maria Gierstol's resume says she's an award-winning architect, but in Rome, she's building something else. Welcome to Rome Pound Studios. I love it. Let's go take a look. All right. Maria is in the process of designing a film production campus to bring Latino-inspired stories to the screen. We can cast anybody, but when somebody's behind the camera or writes the script or does the directing or the editing, um, this is the way where we can really create the story. How do you want Latinos to be seen? Talented, taken seriously. They're accountable, you know? They're always there but they're invisible and I want them to be visible. The idea for the film company came to Maria after a life-changing opportunity. I meet Tyler Perry and I get to become his architect and we made history because we created these amazing buildings. We thought if he can do it with his community, I said to myself, um, we can do it, let's try um, and create something very similar a proud Latina, Maria was born in Venezuela. She and her family moved back and forth from South America to the U.S. I was very lucky to have done that because I embraced all cultures, starting in New York City, which was a melting pot, and then going back to Venezuela. She says the time in both places helped shape her from the little girl who liked to perform. And here I am, dressed up for the Glee Club. To the woman she is today, and it helped her navigate more than a few bumps along the way. I come to this country to study architecture, and I did. It was very hard because I found myself in a male-dominated field. I even had a teacher telling me that I should study interior design because architecture for men. But Maria didn't listen. I don't see obstacles as something that is going to put me in the position where I can't go on. It just does the opposite to me. Tell me about some of the stories that you're hoping to tell. Uh, anything that is positive for our community with some of these lifestyle shows that we're planning on doing. Some of those shows would include Celebrations, a show about the exploration of food and culture. It makes me so happy to have you guys around my table. The making of the band Jet Black Roses, a documentary style music show. Hola Latino America, somos Jet Black Roses and she's still looking for more. While developing and pitching these shows is top of mind for Maria, so is providing opportunities for minorities and women. Pam will create a halo effect, will boost the town, will create jobs. I believe as soon as we open up a campus, we'll put 25 people to work immediately. How do you feel about all that you've done? I wanna make it clear for women that if you dream of something, just go and do it. There's still a lot of work to be done. I almost feel like you don't get the magnitude of what you're doing I sometimes. Don't. I don't get the magnitude. I feel um, this is the place where I'm supposed to be, and this is, it feels good. In Rome, Georgia, I'm Laura Chavez for Matter of Fact.